Hi, I'm Stephen Feinberg, Executive Director of the Rhode Island Film and Television Office. Today we have a special guest. She's a real icon. She worked with everybody from Dick Clark to Elvis Presley. It is my pleasure to welcome Marlon Mason to the set of Double Feature. Welcome. Well, thank you. <laughs> so, I'm going to jump right on in. You work with Elvis Presley. Yeah. What the heck was that like? Oh. And I have to ask you one quick question. You worked with the director, um, Peter Tewksbury, who had directed Father Knows Best. He also directed um, My Three Sons, and he directed a movie with Elvis Presley, and you starred in that movie. Um, well, I, he did three films with Elvis, and this was Elvis's next to last movie. And uh, he, I don't know what the other two were because I was not an Elvis fan. I didn't, I never saw an Elvis movie. Uh, I barely saw my movie. <laughs> but um, yes, uh, Peter Tewksbury, I think you had mentioned Father Knows Best and My Three uh, Sons. My three sons. Um, and if he directed those episodes that I did, I, I didn't know, it? yeah. And so you taught me something about my career I didn't know. <laughs> but uh, when I got the Elvis movie, I'd just come off of a Broadway musical. And uh, I got the call, my, my manager did, that they were, wanted me for this movie. I didn't have to read for it. I didn't have to audition. So I always thought that it was just the producer or whoever. And, and I didn't find out till years later that Tewksbury uh, had a little uh, talk, I guess, I don't know if it was the colonel or the producer. Somebody did not want me to do that role. And Tewksbury said, if you don't hire Marlon, I'm walking. He was your champion. So he was my champion, and that's the only time that I know of in my long career that that was ever he must have, my memory. He must have appreciated before. your work earlier, and then you'd had that successful show. Well, I had, I had done a lot of TV, and I'd also done two specials with Robert Goulet, two television specials, yeah. Carousel and Brigadoon, oh, and wow. I played the comedy roles in them. So I was, you know, I Sassy. had a lot of energy, right. and, and um, I think that's what, they, what he wanted for that role. And you were, like, only one of, I think, three or four... Uh, women, three, who sing, and Margaret being one of them. Yes, and Nancy Sinatra Nancy's, was the other one. To sing with Elvis and to yes. duets with him. And Shelley, somebody said Shelley Sh Fabre, Fabre that's but I mean. hers somebody pointed out is a split screen. Ah. And that's why it's not, it wasn't like a record, I, apparently, I don't know how anybody figures right. it out, but that it was. What was it like working with Elvis? Oh gosh, he was, I, I was prepared not to like him. Um, I always tell this to the fans when I do my Elvis shows. I thought he was going to be unprofessional and uh, always waiting for him, never on time, and and just you know, sort of nerdy. That's and I don't. I had nothing to base that on. Oh, it's just but your... I came from. I just came from another world of music, yeah. and I of course knew who he was and knew his music. But I wasn't a fan, or mm -hmm. Elvis was not part of my any of my thought right, processes. Right, right. And um, he walked in the first day we had our dance rehearsal. We were going to rehearse for a week, and I think this was towards the end of August. And he walked in. And the, we were introduced by Jonathan Lucas, the choreographer, and the first thing that Elf has said to me, very shyly said, oh, well, he says, excuse me, but um, Mary Keach just dyed my eyebrows and my eyelashes. And, <laughs> and I thought to myself, this guy is telling me something very personal about right. himself, that his eyelashes are dyed. Right. And I thought, I'm going to like this guy. We hit it off. We just adored each other. We adored working together. Had he not been married, I would surely have made a big play for him. Yeah. Uh, but I'm glad I, that nothing happened because I think I would have ended up with a broken heart. Yeah. And uh, like and I did you, with all the rest of them. <laughs> and, <laughs> and now you guys, I pick poorly. Now look, when you when you worked <laughs> with him for like ten weeks, right? It was about ten, 10 weeks. So. So, uh, what was it? No. So you had a great experience, um, and uh, uh, oh, he was so professional. He loved her. He, he would do anything the director asked him. 
he was he ha, he did a little he was letting off firecrackers all the time, for instance. Oh, uh, yeah. And we, you could be doing a scene, and off in the distance, if he wasn't in it, you'd hear boom. <laughs> and Tewksbury cut. Elvis, we're trying to shoot a movie over here. Could mm. you please hold it? Now you had like, two, two seconds later, you would hear boom. boom. He would, yeah, he would answer. <laughs> so you you were wonderful. doing like dance numbers and singing, and you've also done drama and you've done across genres. I mean, I you have, did everything. You did. Do you have any? <laughs> do you have any favorites that you worked on? Favorite genres that you worked on? Because you worked on the like, Big Valley. You did, I think, Barnaby Jones Detective. It's, you did Streets of San Francisco just, with Carl Malden. You know what was? Well, you know, any favorites? Um, well, the, the, the Hogan's Heroes, that because I like the singing and dancing, the two specials with Goulet, when I'm, go, I'm just talking television sure. now, because Elvis really was, that, I mean, that was 10 weeks where you really got a family feeling. Right. And you, I got that pretty much with, the, with Goulet, with Brigadoon and Carousel. Right. Um, those were just beautiful shows done in, a, I think, 65 and 66. In fact, the first one I did was Brigadoon and Bob Mackey. We were both 25. Oh, wow. And Costume he, and he, designer. Oh, my God. He just, he knew what to do. He was amazing. Was he? Yeah. Yeah. Our, Hello, Bob Mackey. Bob Mackey, you did all this yes. stuff for Sheer and, yes. and Carl yeah. Burnett. Oh, he went on to be huge. Yes. Had a clothes line and everything. Yeah. He... Well, Marlon, I want to thank you so much for joining us on Double Feature, and we look forward to having you here again. Oh, I look forward to it. This has been a lot of fun. Super.